So I redid Windows on my computer system because of a uh, what I thought was a Windows problem, but it turned out to be a hardware problem. I will probably leave you guys a link somewhere up there so you guys can click on to hear the whole story. But because I redid Windows, OneDrive reactivated itself, and I figured I'd teach you guys today on how to disable it because it makes moving stuff around on Windows a complete pain in the ass. So before I get started with the video, let me just show you on the easiest way to tell if OneDrive ever turns itself back on. Look for cloud icons and look for check marks beside stuff because it will instantly tell you if it's on or not. Now the easiest way to disable OneDrive is you're going to want to take a look for the symbol down in the toolbar. Now if you don't see it for any reason, you're going to want to go to the search bar and you're going to want to look up OneDrive in your computer. What this is going to do is bring up the file folder and because you've opened this, the toolbar should now show the right symbol. You're going to want to right click on it, you're going to want to go to settings, and you're going to want to unlink this PC. Just like that guys, that's how you disable OneDrive on your computer and yeah, it's that simple. If you guys have any comments for me about this, let me know down in the comment box below. I'm probably going to hear something about my activation uh, windows right here folks, so I am going to work on getting rid of this next video, but I just wanted to bring you guys this video because of the fact that I'm trying to change where all my files are going in the computer and OneDrive won't let me do that. So anyway folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.